Hello everyone, this is an out-of-box review of the Texas Instrument TI-36 calculator. Now, this is a non-graphing calculator, non-programmable. It's, for Texas Instruments, it's the best calculator I could find that, that was that way. And on the back it says compare models, TI-30, 30, 34, 30, 36. Number of lines of display, it has four. You know, some of the TI-30s have four. One verbal, two verbal statistics. That some of the TI-30s do two verbal fraction, decimal conversion. They all do it. Trig log exponents. They all do it. Now we're getting cutting and ed editing and pacing entries. The TI-30XA drops off. Math print display. A lot of them drop off at that point. XY tables. We're down to just the 30XS and the 36. Um, complex numbers, just the 36. Step-by-step -step fraction simplification, only the 34 does that. But you don't really need that in most cases unless you're learning fractions. Okay. Now this calculator, I, I run a tutoring service and a lot of the teacher's classes I do tutoring for, it's at college level, don't allow programmable calculators, don't allow graphing calculators. So this is the best alternative I tell the students to get, and a few teachers have even banned this one because they don't like some of the things it can do. Let me open this up. i got a knife here, a hobby knife, with an extremely sharp blade, which will cut through this plastic very easily. Make sure you do not, I'm doing a major no-no in cutting towards me. I already learned the hard way what kind of a no though that is if you look right there. I got a nice, nice scar on that hand from this. Well, that opens this up enough. No, it doesn't. What are you going to get in your package? You get a calculator. It is slightly solar, it, as far as I can tell it's solar powered because there's no access to the batteries on the back. Okay, and it tells how to reset on the back. You get your standard little cheat card that a lot of calculators come with. You get an instruction book. And you get something to throw in the trash or the recycling bin, depending on who you are and where you live. Okay, that, I didn't throw that in trash. Just got it out of my way. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about features right now, other than this thing is actually a pretty powerful little calculator. The owner's manual I have read very briefly. You actually get an owner's manual. You buy a TI-84 Inspire. You don't so much get an owner's manual, so that's a good thing. The cheat card runs through data editor and list formulas. This is for statistics. It goes through how to do some other stuff. I'm going to go through all that in this series of videos. It won't be just one video on this calculator. And the other side is scrolling history, home screen, clearing and editing, toggle keys, multi-tap keys, all that fun stuff. Let's turn this thing on. Now you get a big screen, you can hit the fraction button and you can like type 2, minus 3, hit the down button and put 5, plus 7, hit enter. Now we're, let me zoom this in because that is not going to do good for a lot of you. There we go. So we can see that it left me the answer negative one twelfth. This is like the most annoying thing I have found about this calculator. That it has a habit of not leaving answers in usable forms if you're wanting decimal answers. Let's say you're taking a physics class. And I've had a lot of students come up to me and go, how do I fix this? This button right above enter. When you push it, it converts it to a decimal. When you push it, it puts it back in a fraction. This is the most annoying feature of this calculator is that right there. If I do a square root of 2, press enter, it tells me square root of 2. I have to press this, get it out, press this, it goes back. Okay, I don't remember the pi button is, but there is a pi button on this thing that's pretty easy to find somewhere. But if you do a calculation with pi, it has a habit of leaving pi in the answer. Oh, it's probably under constants, units. No, it's not. Anyhow, it's in there somewhere. But it has a habit of leaving answers in pi. Okay, so it's good to know that this button flips them back and forth. So this is a random look over the calculator. When you look at the buttons, it has a stat 
feature, it has a matrix feature, it has a math button, and it can go through and do a lot of different math features. We're going to talk about all those eventually. It has stat features, you hit second that, you can, it does stat distributions, Poisson's normal binomial. If you just do stat regulate, it does regressions, linear, quadratic, cubic, power. Okay, it does vector calculations, it does some, let me get out of that and clear the screen. It does some calculus stuff, like right there it'll do a numerical antiderivative okay it has multi-touch buttons which we'll talk about in a little bit for some of these things um, it does combinations permutations right here it does vectors if I second that I think I, yeah, I already showed you the vectors it does complex numbers which a lot of people don't really do too much anymore but some people need it, it has a numerical solver so you enter an equation to solve it has a polynomial solver, has the expression evaluation, it has a list of constants which I've gone over already. It does unit conversions. Let me hit get out of that and go to the unit conversions. It does unit conversions. Okay, it does number bases if you're into number bases. Okay. It does an awful lot of stuff. I'm going to go through all these features a little bit more detailed in the following videos. Oh, and there is a numerical derivative here. So it can do a numerical derivative too. So we'll go through all these features a little bit at a time. I'll go through all the solvers at once. And system solve, that's when you're solving a system of matrix of equations, linear equations. We'll go through all these features one at a time in detail with some examples handwritten next to it or typed next to it so you can see how to use these features. But as a quick overview, just wanted to show you all the different things this calculator can do real quickly. All right. Camera's telling me I'm out of battery, so I'm going to end here, but I'm going to go through the owner's guide. I'm going to go through this and show you all that stuff in later videos. I don't want the videos to be too long, so I will be back with another one.